Well, good morning. 100 of these things I've done so far. That's a lot. I mean, three a week. I'm not doing math. <laughs> uh, it's... Didn't think I'd get to 100. I mean... Oh, that sign was black. Okay. I'm doing, again, this in the morning, so my voice is going to be really weird this time. I'm going to talk very lowly. I think this is England, but I don't know yet. Um, Yeah, my voice can be a bit off. Oh, is that just because you don't use it for a couple hours when you're asleep, and then you wake up, and your voice is just going to be the slow register because of non-use? I have never thought of it. There's nothing... It, well, maybe the other... No, I was going to say, if you wake up and just start running the second you wake up... I'm sure there's a bit of a... drag time or slow down, whatever you want to call it, just because... Uh, you're just warming up the muscles. They're uh, not in any way actually ready to be used. Unless you're one of those people who do the... Uh, thing that you like move around a lot when you sleep like I didn't want to be on this road give me back okay yeah this is England. I'm not saying this is Australia I would have gotten like it gave me a half pause that that little stop of me talking that's called a half pause I guess I don't dot UK yep Good old Christopher Scott. So, update from Friday when I was just all like, oh, my car, my car, my car, my car's done. I did end up trading it in, getting a new one. Um, well, new to me. It's still used, technically, but I got one. Um, yeah, um, I think I mentioned the whole exhaust issue I had before. Excuse me. And, uh... I thought it would be an easy thing of, okay, it just rotted off right after the catalytic converter. So I'll just put it in the trunk and drive to the uh, dealership and trade the car in there. But little did I know that the uh, exhaust pipe itself, it wasn't like this straight red squirrels, huh? I've never seen a sign warning people for red squirrels. Must be really aggressive down that road. Let's go down that road. Okay, I guess we're not going down that road. Um, yeah, why, no, I didn't want to rotate like that. Um, went to go just pull the thing off, and of course it had like two 90 degree an angles in it, making it impossible to pull out without having it on a lift, but that didn't stop me from trying at least for a little bit, where I was like, okay, wiggle it a bit, it doesn't come off, it's still attached to that like little rubber thing that mufflers are held onto. Like, okay, I'll try to pull it out of that thing. Didn't work. So I cut it out of it, thinking that would help. It didn't help. Um, next thing I did, St. Swin Swithin's Crescent. Okay. So the next thing I tried doing was uh, I cut it out. Oh, we were right on the water, huh? We we're over here. I really don't, like, I don't know. It's just near the ocean. And that really doesn't help me. Um, cut it out of the thing. Wiggle more. Didn't work. Okay, I'll put it up on the jack. See if I can't wiggle a bit more. And uh, that didn't work. But the whole time I was just doing that thing of... And if this car jack uh, falls... To, fucking, I don't care Java updates. If this fucking... Uh, well, yep. We're down there. We got the country right at least. If this thing falls down on me, I'm pretty fucked and or boned. And, uh, okay, is this Australia or South Africa? This is the only vehicle we're going to see this entire trip. I don't know what this is. I'm going to say it's Australia. And maybe I'll find a thing, but this is probably just a straight dirt road forever. And, uh... Yeah, I sat there pulling it. That didn't work, so I was like, well, shit. I already cut it off the thing. Is it possible for me just to uh, 
tie this thing together so it's not dragging underneath my car as I try to bring it to the dealership. So I took this little chunk of nylon rope I just keep in my trunk for having to hold the trunk down carrying things and uh, found one place to tie it up. I'm like, okay, that's one point. I clearly need a second one, but there was like nothing I could see that I'd had like reached to because even though I had the thing up as high as he could go, I had very little actual maneuverability space where I felt safe enough to actually get a little ways under the car. Because if I was like, if I go anymore, I just feel like this thing's going to, uh, going to kill me if it falls down. So I was a bit he hedging my bets just, just a bit. And I was like, well, I can't find anything to, uh, God, these fucking signs, the, the quality is bad enough, and these signs are just spaced out enough where this is going to tell me everything I need. I just can't see it. Ugh. And then, yep, yeah, we've already passed that sign. That would have been real helpful. But we'll never see it. God damn it. So after messing around with the muffler for like 20 to 30 minutes, is nothing was coming together so it's like I'll just wrap it around a bunch of times and uh hope for the best I I don't know what the fuck this I mean they do have their interstates in the middle of the country turned a dirt road at points but this probably is nowhere near it there's gonna be a bad score already just know that oh well, we found asphalt this is a good sign we got a minute left why are we on the side of the road can I get Good quality. Again. So mad. I'm very upset. Give me over. Give me. Give me over. It's like Konkana Karada Brach. That's the one? That looks like it says like a one. The one down south, A1, that's the one, but the A1 is like a super long highway, and I'm not going to find, because it like loops around the whole goddamn country. And then here's A1. I'm going to take a guess and say it's here. I'm going to click like here. I'm going to click like here. If I can't find anywhere here. Anyway, well, this is going to be a really shitty score. But I sat there with the muffler trying to get the thing to work and uh, eventually looped around enough times, pulled the rope real tight and tied it to the, one of the arms of my trunk. Yeah, on the other side of the country. Fuck that one. Well, at least this one looks better. But we're probably in the Andes. So this is going to be a really terrible 100 round game of just these places. So finally got the muffler tight enough where I think it could have made the drive over. Brought it over. Traded in. Uh, did the right thing as far as not fixing it just because of the trade-in value. Even if I did fix it, I wouldn't have made any money on it. So... I just had to look like a dirt bag with rope sticking out from my muffler to my car to the dealership. But I got it. I got my new to me car. Happy with the uh, pickup and the choice. And um, yeah, hopefully this car does as well as my previous one. And I'm feeling like this is Argentina. This very well could be, like, Mongolia. I don't know. Like, there's just a warning sign saying, Hey, turn. It looks like, out of everything here, the most dangerous thing is not this turn. You know, you're on a rocky road. You're, if your car breaks down, you're kind of fucked here, I think. It's a train. But, hey, you gotta do your signs. That's another, hey, warning, turn. Oh, 
uh, incline. Yeah, horses here. This means nothing to me. Unless they're like a type of horse. They don't look the stocky short kind. This is probably Mongolia, and I'm going to hate that I'm going to be so far off with my guess, but I'm sticking with Argentina. I feel this is South America. But I think it would be a thing if it turns out my 100th episode of this actually ends up being uh, the worst score I think I've ever had. I think I've broken 10,000 every time at least. I know one was kind of bad, but... That's my only memory of it. We're not getting far enough down this road for my satisfaction. Like, I understand that it's just swaths of this for very long stretches of road here, but I'd like to be able to jump farther so I could, like, traverse to a potential thing. Okay, we got a car coming. This may t tell me some things. Okay. All right, so he's driving on the non-European side of the road. That is a Kia. See, license plate doesn't look like something you'd see in South America. Yeah, this is going to be a real, real bad score. But arid desert, I'm scared to move it. Like... The only thing I've seen is that one thing, but this is just going to be, this is like too many different things. I got way too lucky the last time with those Russian meadow guesses. I guess I'm paying for it here. Can I get to that truck in 30 seconds? The closest thing I'll have to anything telling, telling me where we are. Okay. Yep. All right. I'm going to say this is Mongolia. Thank God I found this truck. <laughs> These billboards of information. Like, this could be Mongolia. This also could be anywhere in this part of desert China. But thank God I found that. Okay, yeah, I got I got the country right. I'm happy I at least got the country because that score would have been very bad. Again, I'm not doing any points. I'm not going to... Um mess around with potential options by leading one way or on another with the points. Martin Fabian Sabalos, this feels South American. This sign here may tell me something. It's up here. All right. Carlos Juarez. Juarez is a place in Mexico. A key is Spanish for here. So it's not Brazil. That is all I've been able to find out so far. This may be Argentina. I'm going to... Argentina has to be in here for the 100th episode. <laughs> Wait, that flag. Eh, is, is that a flag or just a piece of, like, cloth they hang from a... I don't know. Can't tell. Hmm. Where are we? You can tell me, you two. It's okay. It's not against the rules. I mean, it's kind of the point of the rules is looking at information in the pictures telling us where we are. None of these are going to have... Cordoba. Cordoba is a place in Spain. But also, you know, Spain did a lot of colonization. Like, this feels like it's Ar that has to be Argentina. Has to be. I'm just going to click there for now. I. It's just the colors. It has to be it. Let's see. Petroleo del Este. Why am I reading this out loud? It's not going to help me. But there's also a thing I have with the whole buying a car thing. I'm one of those people who hates haggling. Like, people talk about it. it's a thing you do. I'm just like, ah. I got, like, one parameter, and it's making sure my monthly payment's under this. And if you can't do that, then yeah, I'll walk. But I'm not, I'm not going to be like, well, hold, this doesn't have this. Let's um, take 500 bucks off. Oh, 
we're gonna fight here let's go to 350 no it's it's not what i want to do just like okay i saw your price i've agreed that the price of this car is available for now is reasonable enough i'm fine with paying this i mean you could call me a sucker for not doing the process but no i'm there's a thing i want to buy it i have the money I'll just get this. I mean, I'm not going to fight for a thing that, you know, if I get a thousand off of this, I should be able to, uh, ooh, sign, here we go. I should be able to, uh, pay this off in no time. Cordoba. Let's look for, oh, Cordoba. hundred miles this way. Let me say we're in Rio Cuarto. We're in anything here for a hundred kilometers around. Alto Garcia is a farther away. So it's not that. Los... Chanritos. So we've got this, this. Los Chanritos is much closer. Alright, we've got we've got a triangulation here. This is good. Alright, so from Alta Garcia to here, that is 139 kilometers. So if it's 13, this is gonna be hard to find. I wanna say we're in this section. Chanritos. Because here to here is 39 kilometers, so if it's somehow this is making sense in my it only has to make sense in my brain if I can guess this. They say we're in La Puerta. Well, kind of close. If I can find where El Oh Los Chen, yeah, that was in the right idea. I'm okay with that. We're not getting under the 10,000 this time. Sorry to disappoint you. But we have to look to see where we are in potentially Russia, if not Scandinavia. Russia. We're near a lake. Well, the only thing we didn't check off for this 100th episode is a uh, Brazilian guest, but we got there close with uh, Argentina. Now, is I'm going to just say this is like uh, by call. I know it's not. I'm going to say we're right here. Because that's, like, I feel like this stuff would be very much, well, no, it's a lot of, not a lot of forest. I'm just saying we're there. We're, we're not there, but whatever. I'm not going to get any better score than this unless I see something definitive telling me otherwise. So there, there's logging happening on this. Come on, let me go forward. Thank you. Uh, logging happening here. I just want to see this truck. I should have looked back at that blue car. Car L ski. Yes, combi nut. Can't say it again. It's not how my brain's working. I hope that's not a sign of some sort of disease for my brain of just like. You're not going to be able to, like, pronounce where... I guess I can't go that way. Is there a, oh, it just says to go either of those ways. That's that's not very helpful. This bus stop where no one lives anywhere, so why is there a bus stop? I've had this question for the longest time, Russia. Why do you have random bus stops in... There's fucking nothing here. Why do you have, like... Alright, I, I can't keep reiterating the same point when it when it's already been made this clearly is not where i thought it was so uh i'm gonna get a bad score i said four why did it go backwards why are we going backwards i'm clicking forward yet yeah, it's going backwards come on like, I, what I want to do if I ever find out that GeoGuessr is, or Google Maps is around where I am, is just go around walking and holding up a sign saying, you are here, just for that one very um, slim chance that that gets picked up on GeoGuessr. And then I'll just help somebody out, just being like, hee hee hee, this is our inside joke for GeoGuessr. Um, nothing, I'm not going to get any signs here. Nothing's going to help me. That might, although I doubt it, because 
yeah, I can't read the language. <laughs> and it's usually not a highway sign of any kind. Um, this is definitely... Well, the, Russia's got huge chunks of nothingness too, so this is not really definitive helping me in any way. Like, unless regional weird dangly things they put in their trucks make me feel like it's more this part of the world. Or the country, I should say, although Russia is a huge goddamn country. 100 episodes of this. Why is there an Italian? This Italian truck is very much lost. I am readjusting my guess, and I'm going to put us... No. Not touching it. No. If we end up down here. Yep. Like, it didn't matter. Why was Italy? That guy was lost. We were on this lake. Onega. Yep, I deserve that. I earned that. Actually, I should say. 100 episodes. Didn't do well. But, hey. I don't know how far ago I started one of these things, but... I would like to say the quality has changed, but clearly it hasn't. Not with this. In 100 episodes, you think I'd learn something to help me with Russia, but there, I don't think there's anything to learn unless I actually understand the language more. And I still think they need to change their image quality standards. These are 10 posts that I'll complain about while still playing the game. But anyway, that's 100 episodes done. I'd like to thank you all for watching, if not all of them, enough of them to make me feel like I need to keep doing this. I don't want to say it's just because I have it. I want to say it's because there's people here wanting to watch it. I'd like to thank you all for doing so and telling your friends and like, favorite, comedy, subscribing, all that other stuff I always say. I'm still always in the uh, lookout for any sort of tips you may know to help me with these real pain in the ass ones like this one or that one. I mean, I don't know if I'm missing anything other than being able to understand the language or for like, hey, if you do this keyboard command. If you Alt F4, you'll get a really good image quality of Australia, so you won't have these problems, but here's to another potential 100. I don't know how long I'll do these for, as long as there's people that want to watch it, I guess. And thank yourself for watching it and keeping this thing going. But for all of us here, which has pretty much just been me, thank you all for watching. We will see you next time.